my brother and I wrote a book called Static. And the reason we called it this, and in this high-tech digital age, in this time of high-def television and digital radio, still all we get is static. This veil of distortion and lies and misrepresentations and half-truths that obscure reality when what we need the media to give us is the dictionary definition of static. Criticism, opposition, unwanted interference. We need a media that covers power, not covers for power. We need a media that is the for the state, not for the state. And we need a media that covers the movements that create static and make history. And I, I, all my documentaries are based on lectures that I give, so I do all of the creating of the lecture and the presentation and giving the lecture, collecting the material, and then uh, the filmmakers, you know, do the editing and uh, the actual putting in the graphics and putting it together in that way. So, how has that changed since you've started making your films in 1979? Well, the films are film filmmaking has gotten uh, much more sophisticated and also a lot easier. So, my original film was a film that shot on 16 millimeter film, so editing was a huge deal, you know. And now it's so much easier with the uh, computers and all of that. It's a whole different world. So, it's much. Uh, it's, it's both more sophisticated and, and easier than it was in, when I started. Why did you decide it makes you angry? Oh, wow. I mean, so many things make me angry, but I try not to dwell there. I try to look more at the things that are hopeful. The sexualization of children makes me angry. The, you know, the, the defunding of, or the threat of defunding Planned Parenthood makes me angry. The whole, the, everything that's going on, a lot of what's going on makes me angry, but, but there's also a lot that's going on that's hopeful, like conferences like this. We have nothing to lose but our net neutrality if we do not fight. The voices of American people must be heard. We have made sure that testifying before, be, uh, next to the CEOs at a congressional hearing will have someone that you choose to testify before these congressional hearings. So your voices are heard as well. You must select the witnesses to be heard at these hearings because on every single issue that will be debated, there is one thing that separates you from your opponents. You are right and they are wrong, ladies and gentlemen. And why is this fight worth fighting? Well, in the words of Robert F. Kennedy, whose speech almost a half a century ago electrified a nation, he said, too much and for too long we seem to have surrendered personal excellence and community values in the mere accumulation of material things. Our close connection.